hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is judith Emo. if this is the first time you are seeing this channel welcome on board please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it i bet you will do drop a comment down below what you think about this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for joining me today thank you so today is well this is officially the first video of me on this channel so and today's video is about get to know me i did um a get to know me tag on instagram where i asked my followers what they would like to know about me and i must say guys i got a couple of questions like a lot thank you guys for doing this with me thank you for coming through for me so obviously i got a lot of questions and i won't be able to answer everything so just answer a few so let's get into it don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you know when i post more videos thank you for joining me today thank you bye no 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 bye please stay with me watch this video to the end because i have some juicy details to drop the lightning from the introduction video was messing up so i just fixed it and i'm not going to do another one please thank you and guys every part of my body these days have been against me my skin my eyes if you have a solution for me on this like i don't know what to do to this eyes it has been like this for over two months please if you have a solution like it comes and goes if you have a solution please let me know thank you in the comment section i would really appreciate so let's get into what this video is about so the first question is the first question i'll be answering today is how old are you guys i'm still a baby i hate the fact that i'm turning 25 this year guys i'm turning 25 this year i just want to remain 20 forever i don't want to turn 25 please but there's nothing i can do about it so i have some 25 i have to grow so guys i'm 25 years old why don't you have sense really this is actually from my friend obviously <laughs> i don't have sense because i'm not old enough yeah i'm just 25 so you don't expect a baby like me to have sense i don't have sense because i'm not old enough as a mother of two do you still have a life of your own because i don't i have just one now well having a life of my own this is my life now yeah this is what my life is what she's trying to, i guess what she's trying to say is if i still have a me time guys having a me time is difficult this days. like it's really really difficult so any opportunity i grab any opportunity i get i grab it immediately like i don't waste time if my star comes around i just please baby sit for me i have to go have fun like not so much fun because i'll end up thinking about the children i need to come back and do this do this this and all so it's not easy but having a life of my own this is what my life is now this is my own life but having a meet time is difficult what advice will you give to an upcoming makeup artist well guys i'm still upcoming i guess but because i'm not there yet so i can't say I'm there yet, so I'm still upcoming. So what I'll say to you is consistency is key. Don't compare yourself to other people. When you look at those big moas out there, yeah, you look up to them, you want to be like them, but you don't compare yourself to them because they've survived for a very long time. Some of them have been in the game for 10 years, 15 years. They are not your mates in the game. So maybe you just started one year, two years ago and you expect to be like them. Man, it's not possible. It's not possible, I tell you the truth. So it just take your time keep growing keep learning you learn every day keep learning keep growing i hope that answers your question because i'm not good at i'm not a motivational speaker so the next question is are you proud of how far you have come in life yes i am very proud of how far i've come in life guys pardon the noise this is 12 13 pm and there's a construction going on around my area hence the noise so i'm very proud sometimes i feel like i'm not doing what i'm supposed to be doing yet or i'm not where i'm supposed to be yet but i'm not where i used to be so i am really really proud 
I'm still growing, yes, but I'm proud of this stage of me because sometimes we focus more on the future, forgetting that our past, forgetting that the present, our present is or was the future of our past. Yay! Ha! Motivational speaker added to the, to, 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 to the whatever, to the whatever. Next question is, have you always wanted to be a makeup artist? No. I was a hairstylist. I used to be a hairstylist. But a lot of I fell in love with colors. I fell in love with how you can use colors to enhance someone else's beauty and yourself as well. I just fell in love with art. Not like I know how to draw, but makeup is art. That is my own kind of art. I fell in love with this type of art. And I'm loving it. I wouldn't say I've had any regrets no i've not had any regrets but it hasn't been easy that's the truth being a makeup artist being a professional makeup artist is not a child's play trust me like uh, it's not a child's play because it's a very difficult profession but a sweet one if you love what you're doing and it's expensive so the passion for it is going to keep you going so the next question is What's your favorite food? <laughs> I don't have a favorite food though. I eat everything and anything. Anything good. I eat anything good. Anything I try and it's good. So I don't have a favorite food because I used to get bored. I used to get bored with food. When I eat a particular thing for a, for a while and I just get bored. But I don't have a favorite food. But I eat anything. Anything good, I like it. I eat it. Yeah. So this one says... How do you combine motherhood and your job? You make it look so easy. Well, I guess it's just me, but it's not easy. And guys, this is my most, oh God, most frequently asked question. I got that right. Yeah, English is hard. Jeez. It's not easy. Maybe I just make it look easy, but the truth is, behind the scene what goes down behind the scene is not easy i just try to make it work take one day take it a day at a time yeah i think it a day at a time whatever today brings let's deal with it whatever tomorrow brings well let's deal with it i just don't let it stress me so much it's stressful enough so i don't put pressure or mount pressure on myself if I have the strength to work, I work. If I have this, if I don't have the strength to work, I tell the person I'm not available. Yeah, I'm consistent. It looks like I'm always consistent on my page, but it's not all. Well, I don't think I finished the last question, but that is it. No need for long talk. So the next question I'll be answering is, where did we stop? Where did you grow up? In no, not in Ugu, Abuja. I grew up in Abuja. Nigeria. I stay in Enugu right now, but I grew up in Abuja. Next question is I know you are Igbo. Was wondering if you know how to speak Igbo because I've never heard you speak. Well, I am Igbo and I know how to speak Igbo. Eh? Yeah. I guess that answered your question. <laughs> so, this is what are your hobbies? Do I even still have hobbies? I doubt because <laughs> I've not hobbied so by hobby in a very long time. Well, I like reading. I like going to the gym. I like eating food. I like cooking. Yeah, I like cooking my own food. I guess that's it. And I like going out, like turn up. So I've not hobbied some of my hobby in a very long time. So you, the next question is, you make motherhood look easy. How did you do it? This is actually related to the other question I answered before. It's and also my most frequently asked questions. Like I said before, I just do it. I just I just take it one step at a time. That's it. And I don't let it overwhelm me. What today brings, it brings. What tomorrow brings, it brings. And we keep going. As you are going, it gets easier. As your kids are growing, it gets easier. So don't just let it stress you. Please, mothers, don't let it stress you. Just tell you once about the time, you're not going to kill yourself. Mm? God blessed you with those kids and he's going to give you the strength to take care of them. So just take care of them and yourself and take you one step at a time. You will be fine and I love you. 
the next question is do you have any regrets getting married and giving birth early not even a single regret guys because i am extremely happy in my next life i will still choose this life i'm extremely happy like for real i am my husband makes it very easy for me and i am happy i don't have any regrets even though sometimes i feel like eh, do i even miss my singlehood it's normal right but i am happy i will still choose this life over and over again and i think i've answered a lot of questions i don't know what number this is how did you get your pre pregnancy body back whoa really hey it's funny guys because i didn't get it back this is what i look like before i got married and give birth yeah that's what i look like i used to be a size six now this baby girl is now a size eight stroke ten right so i didn't get it back but i did not lose my pregnancy tummy fat so i guess that is because like they said as closely oh god exclusive breastfeeding yeah exclusive breastfeeding helps you lose weight and portion control yes portion control is actually underrated if i have a boil of food to eat instead of eating everything at once i divide it into three i eat it at interval maybe i eat one portion and an hour and 30 minutes i eat the other portion an hour and 30 minutes eat the other portion that's how i manage to control my portion and when i have some cravings or when i get hungry at midnight which is normal because i am breastfeeding exclusively when i get hungry at midnight i try not to eat heavy food i don't go to the kitchen and get rice apple these that i just i make sure i have um fruits in my fridge i just use that to quench my hunger even though sometimes i don't stay faithful to that because you know baby girl had to satisfy her craving sometimes so that's just it guys Next question is, what inspired you to become a makeup artist? What inspired me? I like colors. <laughs> yeah? I like colors. I like art. You know, makeup is art and I like art. I like how I'm able to use my brushes and products to enhance the beauty of a baby girl like me. You know? So I just like how I'm able to like enhance beauty of women of different colors different sizes different colors different tribes like how i i love how i meet different people different women and have the opportunity to work on them so this same um, where are you from and that's the last question i'll be answering today because this video is getting too long so you don't get boring where are you from? I'm from Enugu, Nigeria. Yes. Well, I have another question here. I might actually answer that. This case said, have you ever been out of the country? <laughs> no, guys. I've never even been to Lagos. So, I'm full Nigerian, babe. So, I've never been out of the country. I've not even been to Lagos. So, But soon, you know. So, guys, we have come to the end of today's video. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the post notification and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.